Hello and welcome to the water signs out there, the Cancers, the Scorpios, and the Pisces. This is the new moon in Aries energy reading surprise. I didn't plan on doing it originally, but I was in the mood today, so here we are. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this reading if you like it, if you enjoy yourself, I do invite you to stick around and subscribe and welcome back to my current subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your continued support, especially my Scorpio family out there. Okay. But shout out to everybody, Cancers and the Pisces. So let's get into this energy reading. Today is the new moon in Aries. So, yes, let's see what's going on, what energies, or what can you guys expect coming with this new moon. This is the first one of the Zodiac year, which, if you know, Aries starts the Zodiac. <laughs> All right, spirits, guys, angels. What are the energies, the messages, and guidance, please? For the water signs, the Cancers, Scorpios, and Pisces, as it relates to the new moon today, new moon in Aries, what are their messages, guidance, and advice, please, for Cancers, Scorpio, and Pisces? What can they expect or what do they need to know around this new moon in Aries? New moon in Aries for the water signs. <clears throat> Please keep in mind I don't read reversals. If you notice, I turn them up. Okay. Water signs, energy at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. Okay, that's going to speak to air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you, some big news could be coming your way. Uh, I do see the tower there in the background. So it could be some surprising news on the way or some news that's coming in and you're going to have to move quickly, okay, and take action. The first message here for the water signs is the Hierophant, okay? So I do see here spirituality coming into play. Uh, your religious beliefs and things like that. This is a holy person, or sometimes it can even be a corporation or business, okay? Uh, this can also be churches, institutions, structures, all right? So what's going on here? We got the Scorpio energy coming out, Scorpios. Okay, I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles, there could be some kind of financial something coming out, could be directly to the Scorpios uh, with this new moon in Aries. That could be maybe the big news that comes to you. You know, maybe you get some kind of important phone call and they're like, hey, we owe you some money or something like that. Something happened and this money is sitting here for you. But I do see the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so look for messages, communication, check your email, check your voicemail messages. It could be about some money coming towards you guys, okay? So congratulations, Scorpios. <laughs> Next, you guys, is temperance. This speaks to Sagittarius energy, but it also speaks to healing and allowing things to flow and balance. You see the earth and the water. Okay. Um, and, and yeah, so it speaks to balance and nurturing, and it also speaks to patience. All right. Maybe they're saying to be patient about something. Six of Pentacles is coming in with the Empress. Okay. You guys, I do feel like it, for a lot of the water signs out there, things are going to be restored is what I'm getting. Uh, this could have to do some of you with a mother or a parent, a caregiver, but I'm seeing the six of pentacles giving and receiving also things being balanced. Maybe somebody owes you some money. It's going to come back to you. Also, this is the energy of, um, 
uh, again, possibly a legal situation because of the scales here. It's like some kind of justice is happening. That could be the reason for things to be restored. Okay. Also, if there is some kind of tiff taff with your mom in any kind of way, I feel like they are saying to forgive and allow things to just flow naturally. Okay. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for something. Some of you, it is related to a parent or some of you, this is related to even maybe something you created and you're going to get paid for it with what, how you deserve to get paid for it. Okay. All right. Water signs. We have the seven of swords coming out next. What is going on? Maybe some kind of uh, deception could be exposed. This is a new moon in Aries. Aries is the god of war. So maybe some kind of secrets is being revealed, some kind of dirty deeds coming out, um, you know, exposing somebody's lies or manipulation. The Ace of Cups is here and the Five of Swords. I feel like some of you are going to find out that somebody you trusted did you wrong and i feel like you guys are going to forgive them in your heart that is the water energy so cancer scorpio pisces you guys are going to receive some kind of overjoy some kind of healing personally but i do feel like you may cut somebody off maybe it's just best for you because this ace of cups includes self-love okay it includes self-healing this is a love from your higher power. So they're going to give you some kind of level of unconditional love where you're going to love yourself first and you may be cutting off communication with people who just can't be trusted. They can be trusted. This could be people who either are deceiving to you, they are manipulative to you, or they could even be talking about you behind your back. They might like say one thing to you, but then they say something different when you're not around. So I do see you guys, you will be just fine. You're going to be get that personal healing, letting go of this deceptive stuff. Uh, again, I feel like it's definitely somebody you guys trust, but you are going to be blessed in the end. Yeah, the five of wands. This is somebody around you guys that keeps up drama. They keep up drama. It's like you can't have them close to you. It's some kind of arguing and chaos and just you don't know what to believe when they say stuff. Okay, you can't hardly trust their actions, that kind of thing. I feel like you're going to forgive this person in your heart. And like I said, just kind of let them go, you know, um, mentally and just love them from your heart space, right? You got to do what's best for you. And then final, you guys, the high priestess is coming in. This is speaking to your intuition. Listen to your gut. Follow your intuition. Um, don't doubt it, okay? What else is coming out here? The Eight of Swords and the Fool card, okay? Um, the intuitive thing here is that there, I feel like you guys are kind of fighting against your intuition. Um, the Eight of Swords, something is keeping you stuck, possibly mentally. Maybe you're going to step out now and let that go and follow your instincts and step out with something new or take a risk where maybe you just haven't been able to step out on faith. And I feel like now your faith is going to be strong enough. You know the right timing of this. You're going to break free from this eight of swords, you guys. You're going to break free because whatever has kept you still and locked in is only the power of your thoughts. It's the power of your mind. And when you overcome that with your higher self and let your higher self guide you and not fear and negative thinking and uh, maybe negative perspectives and things like that, that's when you're going to step out because you're going to have the personal power to step out on faith. Okay. Yes, you guys, page of wands. 
two messages and the full card is related to Aries. So this new moon in Aries is opening up new ambition, new willpower, new leadership energy, a new spark, okay, of optimism that I feel like the water signs really need, okay? But it comes from you just trusting yourself and letting go of the negative thinking or the negative focus, okay? Very, very nice. You guys had two aces in this reading water signs. So that is very positive, positive emotions and positive uh, situations coming with money, okay? So let's see what is the moon message that comes out. What's the moon energy message for the water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Thank you. We have, what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Which that's that eight of swords energy. What do you need to release? I think my program froze for a second. What do you need to release everyone? You know, water holds a lot of knowledge and water holds everything. So what do you need to water signs out there? Okay. Let's get one more. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's the moon energy message? Moon energy message for the water signs with the new moon in Aries. We have expect powerful change. It's here. Expect powerful change. Look at that. Now that does look like it's actually an eclipse energy and we are approaching eclipse season. So there are some powerful changes coming around the water signs. Okay, you guys expect powerful change. I like that. What do you need to release? Because some things around you are going to change and you have to be open to receive the blessings. Let go of the negative thinking and negative uh, relationships for the blessings. Okay, <laughs> definitely. Final advice and energy, please, for the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's the energy for them with the new moon in Aries? Okay, we have anxiety. Y'all, that's that eight of swords. That's the eight of swords. Your thoughts have you crippled. And then, you know, anxiety is where you really get anxious and, and can't control your, your nerves. Don't let those negative thoughts overpower you, honey. Tap into your higher self. I'm talking to ladies and gentlemen, tap into your higher selves, that God part of you, okay, and, and, and cut off the negative thoughts. One more energy, please, for the water signs. What's the new moon in Aries? Energy for the water signs. We have anxiety. Let's get one more. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Okay, we have the root chakra energy coming in, getting secure within yourself, within your finances, where you live, how much money you have, things like that. Security, the, the foundation. First chakra, okay? So those are two red things. The main security comes within yourself first and then into your physical environment. So when, when you need to water signs, please release. They said, what do you need to release? Release what no longer is serving you. Okay, release it and let it go. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is your new moon in Aries uh, surprise reading. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you need a private reading, all the details are below. Or if you want to take advantage of the $13 ask a question. It's going on for a few days. It's on the community tab of my channel. Check it out and send me an email. Okay. I love you to my water signs. Y'all be blessed.